Good morning, another good day on the farm. Um, got a little rain last night. This morning I've got a stall I gotta fix. Ken broke a hole through his floor. Nothing major, but I gotta get that fixed. So I had to get him out of this stall. So I'm gonna hitch him on the cart and they haven't worked for a couple days. So I'm gonna hitch him on to my stone boat. I like to keep these guys in good shape. And the only way to do that is you have to work them. And there's times throughout the year where you, days where you just don't have work for them. Sometimes I'm busy in the sawmill, so I just can't be working all day long. Um, and when you have two teams trying to keep in shape, it's, it's difficult sometimes. But if you don't keep in shape, when it comes haying time, or when you're doing serious logging, you've got to get them in shape all over again. So it's so important to keep them in top shape all the time. It's a lot easier to keep them in shape than to put them back into shape after they get out of shape. So anyways, we're going to hitch on to the stone boat and just exercise them a little bit. And when they're resting, I will be working on that stall. I have been trying to put on two videos every week, Friday night and Monday night. Um, sometimes it's hard to do. Um, a lot of times I don't have a particular video that I have planned and uh, I just do whatever happens to be going on that day. Since I'm working horses most every day, I can take any random day and show you what I'm doing that particular day. I hope it's not too boring to show these same things all over again. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that there's people that haven't seen that or I'm hoping that it's just not boring for you. So anyways, that's what we're going to do today. A lot of times I'll take the neck yoke off my cart before I back them in like this because the shoes get caught in the neck yoke sometimes, but they were fine today. As you can see, this is a fairly heavy weight for these horses to be pulling around. You might wonder why I do it. Um, there are a lot of people that use horses out in this world today for a lot of different reasons. Some of them are just show people with show horses and some are just horse pulling people with pulling horses and that's all they do. Some are horse loggers, some are horse farmers. And so many of these groups are broken down into groups. And it's like, if you're in that group, that's what you want, that's what you think about, and, and you don't necessarily think any of these other groups are, are doing things the right way. What I'm trying to show in my videos is that horses like these can be used for all of these different things. I take my horses to horse poles, so I have to keep them in great shape. I log with my horses, so I have to keep them in great shape. I farm with my horses, so they're not pulling weights like this when they're doing farm work. They're pulling fairly light loads, but it's a long, continual um, workout for them. So I would really like to show what horses can do 
and not break it into just specific things like showers, pullers, loggers, or farmers. I'm trying to show that one team can, it's very hard, but they can do all of those things. I don't actually show horses because I don't know if there's any shows around that I could show at. Um, but I wouldn't be against showing my horses. But all these other things I do do on a regular basis. Not too much horse pulling, but I do do some and I really enjoy it. Um, but so many people dislike horse pulls and for a somewhat good reason. But I like to show my horses able to do that and do farm work and even go for pleasure rides, given sleigh rides, all these other things that are just um, not what you'd expect one pair to do all of these things. But I would like to and I'm trying to show that it can be done. So anyway, I will go around this loop one more time and then I'll unhitch the stone boat, tie the horses to the barn and then go see about fixing Ken's stall that he just broke. Okay, I'm going to show you my stall, or Ken's stall. If any of you people have horses, you know how destructive horses can be. I should have a beautiful horse barn. I own a sawmill, and I'm in the sawmill at times. And uh, yeah, look at my barn. It looks like it's all falling apart. And it, it almost is pretty well. But, you know the old saying, cobbler's kids go barefoot. And that's me with the horse barn. I have lumber, but I sell it. And I just tend to put it on the back burner. And with everything that goes on with the farm and I'm logging, there's just not enough hours in the day to do it all like I'd like to. But uh, until I get time to redo this barn, which I do hope to do here soon, I'm just going to have to keep patching and repairing. So what we have here is a hole right here. So i got to take this board out. I'm not sure, maybe Maybe both, all three of these boards, I'm not really sure until I tear it apart. And uh, then I'll show you what's underneath and how I'm going to fix it. There's a couple things I did wrong when I got this barn set up 30 years ago. This barn was an old freestyle barn. That's why over here, this was bunkers for the cows to eat out of. And then this barn was set up. So there's a smack curb right here and that cement curb goes the whole length and there was actually freestyle stalls on this end of the barn and there was 
that much space between that curb and this curb here to clean out. I'm quite sure they used a tractor or skid steer. I'm not sure what they used for sure, but um, that they would have pushed it out into or cleaned it. I'm not sure how they would have done that. But anyways, when we first moved here, I was trying to figure out where to put our horses. And I tried different areas. And then I finally ended up with this spot here. There's a lot of barns here, but none of them were really set up for horses. And so what I did is I put, originally, I put six by sixes in between each stall. There was a six by six here, which is now gone because Ken likes to push and he kept pushing and pushing. You'll see this stall is about twice as long as poor old Buck. He's stuck in that small stall. This post is broke. Instead of going through and redoing the whole thing, I just, like I said, I just keep patching and repairing. So we ended up with a, just a four by four here. When I redo this barn, I've got lots of new ideas, um, but nothing concrete for sure yet. But anyways, what one of the mistakes I made is I have the concrete come to right here. You can hear it. Here's the edge of the concrete right there. So there's no good way to attach the boards to the concrete. And I really don't have to because I put it underneath the mangers. And so it stays in place. And all I do is nail it here. But what I didn't do is allow for drainage of any sort. So this, the concrete floor is underneath here. This is sawdust and slop that has built up over the years. And now the urine from the horses ends up staying right here. Of course, it allows things to rot even faster. I guess I had assumed that since this is open all the way down through it would just run out but it has not so um that's what i'm dealing with like i said when i redo it all i'm still not sure what to do because it's still concrete on the floor if you guys have any suggestions please put them in the comments below because i could sure use some suggestions um also the the kind of wood that i use I have always used hemlock. That's always growing up. My father always used hemlock. And, and it's a great wood to use for stalls. Um, but I've experimented with other woods throughout the years. I've experimented with popple. Well, aspen. Our, we call it popple, but it's actually aspen. That works okay. Um, other different hardwoods I've experimented with. Um, but I haven't come to any great conclusion as to the best variety to use in a horse barn. Um, I know some people have used beech before, and I'm sure I've used some. Um, but there again, I just haven't come to the conclusion of the best, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So by all means, put them in the comments below which, what type of wood you think would work best or has worked best for maybe you and your horse barn. So I'll continue cleaning this mess up and, and getting some new planking in Ken's stall. Um, both these planks are okay. So I will go find a board plank, two inch plank that will go in there. And these are all two inches thick and uh, they will last for a long time. Let's go find us a board. So I'm looking at my two by eight pile out and I have a bunch of two by eights here, but they are all pine and I don't want to use pine. So if I can't find a hemlock, I'm going to have to use a hardwood. Here we are in the old cow barn which I use to store lumber with now. When I had help and I was sawing a lot, this building was pretty well right full of lumber. But since I'm working alone and not sawing as much stuff, there's not so much in here. But uh, this end of the barn I always use for softwood, but that won't help me for today. What I need is some hardwood. So this is the end that my hardwood lumber is in. There's some two inch stuff right there. So down through here, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty dark in here, but uh, there's a big pile of basswood, there's a big pile of ash, there's a big pile of maple, there's some more basswood down through here, odds and ends down through there, I got a 12 inch planer there, and there's some more maple right there, mostly for flooring. Let's see if it slides into place. 
Let me get the sledgehammer. Okay, that looks good. Beautiful. Now, all I got left to do is cut that board off. I gotta make sure these boards don't stick out at all because I'm coming through with a skid steer to clean the barn, which is how I clean my barn. I don't want that skid steer to hit the board. Okay, one thing left to do. A good layer of sawdust calls up a multitude of sins. Looks good underneath with all that sawdust on top, huh? Okay, that's done. Well, with that job all done, I will take the horses around one more time on the one, maybe twice around with the stone boat. And that's all they'll do for the day. That'll be a good little workout for them. And then after lunch, I think I'm going to be hitching these two up and going to the woods. Got some more logs to get out. I got uh, another clapboard um, siding project for a guy he wants to do his garage. So we'll start on that. And uh, so, anyways, you have a great day.